Okay, so we've done one, we've done two, we've done three, and now we're going to check out or clone a copy of the JMBE library. And uh, come up here and hit clone, and then I'm going to copy I'm back to my terminal with a sudo git, that's git git, sudo git clone. So sudo git clone, and it looks like we've received 342 documents, five megabytes. So let's see what we got in our, let's see what we got in our, what do you call it here? Downloads. LS, we got a JMBE folder. So let's CD into the JMBE folder. And LS again. Looks like we got another JMBE folder. So CD into this JMBE folder. Ooh, there's our build. Oh, we're close now. So we're going to go into the build. And LS. And there's our build.xml, which means we're going to get use our ant to execute it. Just go back here and take a look at the directions real fast, make sure I'm not missing anything. All right. In the build folder, execute the ant. This will compile everything. All right. Let's go for it. Build failed. Failed to create the missing parent directory for home downloads JMBE. Okay, so that's a permissions issue. We should be able to fix that. Find out where I'm at here. I'll go back to CD, go back to downloads. All right, so there's JMBE. So, in order to fix that, uh, first thing we can do is uh, do an ls slash l so we can see what the permissions are. All right, so here's what we're going to do we're going to do a sudo and a chmod. And a dash R, I believe that's for recursive. And let's just make everything read, write, everything. J M B E. And this should this should go throughout the uh, the folders. So now if I list it, it should be light green, and it is. So now I want to CD into J M B E, and I should be able to see another light green. And I want to CD into this J M B E, and list again. Oh yeah, everything's light green. So that means everything should be rewritable. So I should be able to CD and build ls and there's the build xml and there's ant. All right, it said build successful. All right, so now it says place the compiled library the jar in the same directory as the Java program. Okay, I'm not sure exactly what the deal is on that yet. LS is just that. Let's CD, let's go up a folder, look at stuff. Let's go up a folder, look at stuff. I'm not really sure. Compile and build all the products and place them in the JMBE library folder. There's the library folder. Couple. All right. Got to read the directions. All right. So CD in a JMBE ls. Got one more. ls. There's the library. CD in the library. ls. And look at this. We've got. We've got this jar file here, and we want to put that in our SDR trunk folder. So we're going to copy it. Place the JMBE jar into the Java program. So why don't we uh, sudo copy this folder, or excuse me, this file right here, and let's put it in um, home ss sdr trunk. And we're going to highlight this and cd into it and list stuff and there it is okay so i think we've done that go back see if we've missed anything i think we're there 
All right, so first thing we want to do before we forget, I'm going to see CD back into downloads and list. That's my JMBE. So the one, one thing I want to do is I want to change the permissions back. Pseudo ch mod cursive dash r. I want to change this back to 755, I think is what it was. And JMB is back to blue, so we're good there.